What species of fish are biting this time of year? During the coldest months of the year, a lot of people step foot outside their homes and engage in all kinds of fun winter activities. For many anglers, however, it's the polar opposite. The drops in water temperatures drive them inside their homes and focus on worthwhile things other than fishing. Yes, it's true that wintertime causes a considerable reduction in the metabolism of fish, thus keeping them from having to feed as often as usual. Just like other cold-blooded animals. Fish take a break this time of year. Worry not if you simply cannot completely turn your back on angling. Even for just a few weeks because there's hope. Not all species of fish practically shut down when the waters get colder. If truth be told, some of these cold-blooded beauties remain active throughout winter. You just have to know which ones. So whether you are planning on angling in open water as usual or going ice fishing, which is perfect for the season, keep watching to find out what species of fish are biting this time of year. Below are some species of fish that keep on biting in the wintry weather. Trout. Let's kick off this list with the one that's known to remain aggressive no matter how cold the days get. Trout. It's in the genes of this fish, which is highly revered as both food and game, to love cold water. The metabolic rate of trout keeps on revving while everybody else's in the water goes dormant. This is the reason why during summertime it's in chilly rivers and creeks where you can find trout abundantly. Northern Pike. Santa's elves get busier and busier at the North Pole. Experienced anglers are heading out to get their hands on some northern pike. Also sometimes referred to as jackfish or simply northern or pike. It's a carnivorous predator that stays active no matter how frigid the waters get. And by the way, the northern pike is known to bring lots of excitement not only in the fishing arena but also in the kitchen. It's delish. Walleye. There's no need for any enthusiastic angler to hit the wall for as long as the target is walleye. A type of fish known to prefer cold water over warm water. Referred to as yellow pike at times. It's something that can be easily found in many systems of water throughout the north. It's exactly for this reason why open water anglers and ice fishers alike find it irresistible to catch some walleye in winter. Crappy. Don't feel crappy if you cannot seem to catch some of your favorites. While the days are still cold, you could simply turn your attention to angling for crappy. It's true that crappy can be found abundantly in warm water. But the fact is it perfectly adapts to cold water, too. Just a quick tip, if you're planning on fishing for crappy, do so at dawn and dusk for it hates a lot of sunlight and thus it's inactive during the day. Bluegill. A lot of anglers can't help but feel blue during winter because it's virtually impossible for them to catch their preferred fish. Cheer up if you're one of them because in the meantime you could simply focus on species of fish that are known to be active during the coldest months of the year. And some examples are bluegills. Naturally curious, they tend to hang around near steep shorelines for some grub. Channel catfish. Also known as a channel cat. Channel catfish are the most abundant type of catfish in North America. There is also never a shortage of it when the water temperatures drop. Haven't tried catching some channel catfish before? Here's one thing about it to bear in mind, it can be so aggressive. So if you're looking for some challenge this winter, remember to put channel catfish on the top of the list of your fishing itinerary. Yellow perch. Last but not least, there's yellow perch. It's known to bite like no other fish in the wintertime. Sometimes referred to as striped perch or simply perch, it is a gentle underwater creature notorious for turning into a hostile beast when the days get colder. Refrain from surrendering most especially if you want to have a tasty treat after. By the way, if you would like to try ice fishing, it's a great idea to target yellow perch. Bottom line. This time of year, forget everything else and focus your attention on any of the above species of fish and you're golden. Going home empty-handed is not an option for as long as you know which swimmer to opt for. To help dramatically increase your angling success rate this winter, we highly encourage you to take a look at these foolproof tips for anyone who wishes to keep on fishing productively. Refrain from angling too early in the morning, except when looking to catch some crappy. We suggest for you to head to where you want to fish between 11 in the morning and 4 in the afternoon. The extra rays of the sun during this time frame helps to wake up those swimmers lurking under your feet. Look for the warmest waters that you can find. With patience and determination, you will be able to figure out which waters in the area and which particular parts of them are the warmest. In winter, a lot of seasoned anglers head to where rivers branch out for some prized catch. Spend time to perfecting your bottom fishing. It's when the temperature drops when you have the perfect opportunity to get your bottom fishing honed. Because of warm water sinks in a very cold body of water, you can rest assured that your targets are gathered near the bottom, often in groups. Try your hands at ice fishing. Not really a fan of ice fishing? Well, a lot of anglers are actually head over heels with it as it's so fun and rewarding. 
Needless to say, the wintertime is an opportunity for you to give ice fishing a chance. Who knows, you may end up hooked. We hope that answers your questions to what species of fish are biting this time of year. If you enjoyed this video be sure to like and subscribe to get updated when we publish new content.